Welcome back, everybody. It is 7 2020, and this is your designated inquirer. My name is Axel, and we're going to be going over the market today. Uh, what happened? So, as we've been displaying signs of weakness basically all of this week, um, it seems like uh, making the narrative in my head as to what works and how I can explain myself why now versus the last six weeks or even last week or two weeks ago why now choose the time to start kind of sliding versus perpetually going up um, one of the reasons that I can find to try and explain everything is analysts um, while um, <laughs> market has taken as noise all of these uh, economic indicators like consumer confidence, uh, retail sales, um, all these other things. Some of them improving, some of them falling, etc. Unemployment rising, falling, but while coronavirus cases have been rising, that's now starting to spike. Some closures now starting to happen. But two days ago is when we finally hit the top. Two days ago is when the market was like, huh, maybe maybe we should slow down. Today it came to more or less a culmination. The closures probably started it a little bit, but we still had some like vaccine news, like, oh my God, this vaccine is coming out as if it's gonna be available tomorrow. No, it's not gonna be available tomorrow. The closures started to slow down, started making them think a little bit like, hmm, maybe we can't keep going up perpetually through this crisis. Maybe, maybe there is some inherent economic danger here. While that was going on the past couple days, this morning is when finally an analyst got kind of brave enough to basically say, hey, I don't think this is sustainable. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. They basically said that Apple, they downgraded Apple from, I don't know what even they had it from, but they, Goldman Sachs rated Apple a sell. But in conjunction with almost any other analyst, they still rose their target price to 300. Granted that the stock was at over 400 as of this week just earlier this week if not this morning was at 400 so they put they raised the stock price target to 300 a full 25 percent down 25 percent is huge it's a big correction right and they had they had it at 263 um and that's that was the news that had come out and was apparent to the market this morning and so that's why it's it started trending downward it's like oh okay maybe this is not sustainable so the market started to sell off apple because apple is such now a gigantic portion of the s p and the nasdaq and the, maybe a couple other indices um it pulled the rest of the tech sector with it that was also feeling some of this fatigue or buying fatigue like man are we still going to keep going up well, they still say that there's still a lot of money on the sidelines i don't know where it's at if it's if money is out there it's now looking at the market for future earnings it's now looking at the market now as a viable investment to put their money they rather keep their money in cash than put it in so much money has been staying in the sidelines but is now a good time to buy for them apparently it's no um so a bunch of other stocks started to cascade downward as well. Tesla, because the news of yesterday didn't propel it up high enough to kind of keep it in contention to keep making new all-time highs. Microsoft basically started selling off. Amazon, which since as high as it has been made maybe the last week or so, it hasn't really had enough oomph to like keep going. Same situation. It's kind of looking at the indicators and everything that's happening like with the latest information the forward pointing indicators that maybe things aren't as hot as it should be so they started to pull down 
that's already and Netflix as well that did not report well that's already like five of the biggest stocks of the Nasdaq and some of them of the S&P and some of them of the Dow Jones pulled the whole market down meaning basically a lot of sectors started to sell off all at the same time and it even took down gold with it just a little bit took it down a little bit along with it um, and so the VIX started to rise which is a measurement of fear it's a general sense of fear in the market and it just started to tumble so we see right here basically you see a general tumble throughout the day while well, they tried to get up and and put a rally together they didn't have any follow-through they couldn't make basically a higher high and then continue to a higher high here didn't happen just rolled over and just kept falling down so to recap for tiktok fan um this is what happened to explain what happened in the stock market today as to why it's maybe starting to roll over you had all of these economic indicators that started to reverse you had rising cases in a bunch of states you had rising deaths you had rising hospitalizations all things that contribute to probably increasing the probability of closures that now have started to manifest but none of that was enough to get the market to turn over it was when finally the cascade of analysts said i don't think this is viable because every single day through all of these news stories negative news stories you basically had analysts incessantly raising the stock prices stock target prices and raising uh upgrading the stocks it would not stop one after another morgan stanley goldman sachs like all these analysts from these high prestige high clout like analyst firms basically upgrading these stocks ad infinitum and because in and of itself an upgrade would cause a stock to rise other analysts didn't have any other option but to follow suit until goldman sachs today basically was the feather that broke the camel's back so i'm kind of expecting further downturn from here but who knows i can't say for certain nobody really can say for certain what's going to happen but probabilistically and the story that runs through my head is that um there's probably further down a downturn to happen from here at least that's my opinion um and yeah but in any case should you need should you be finding or trying to find financial advice i'm not the guy you should be going to go to your own financial advisor somebody that is more qualified somebody that has their licenses and all of their ducks in a row go ask them what you should do um i'm just putting out my opinion into the ether and hopefully somebody listens to it uh but yeah so that's been that's been the story of basically today which is thursday july 23rd 2020 until next time you guys take care stay safe stay healthy wear your masks and uh i will catch you guys next time take care bye